Michael Haywood, PGA Director of Instruction at the Players Institute in Tucson, is the recipient of this year's award, which bestows special recognition on a PGA professional who personifies patriotism through the game of golf and demonstrates unwavering commitment and dedication to the men and women who have valiantly served and protected the United States. Michael is a fourth generation Army veteran who served in multiple deployment operations for humanitarian relief efforts. He was the recipient of the United States Army Commendation Medal, Army Achievement Medal, and Good, Contact, Good Conduct Medal. During his 27 years at Tucson Country Club, Michael established numerous programs and invitationals that benefited veteran organizations, including the Folds of Honor Foundation through Patriot Golf Day. He has been instrumental in growing the PGA Hope program throughout the Southwest PGA. Always willing to give back and be involved, Haywood served on the PGA of America Board of Directors as president of the Southwest PGA and Southern Chapter PGA, and currently serves as the chairman of the Southwest PGA Foundation. Among his numerous awards, Michael was honored twice as the Southwest PGA Golf Professional of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, the Southwest PGA Patriot Award honoree, Mr. Michael Haywood. We go back 15 years, we've served together, we've become pretty good friends, I would say. Right. Um, I've always, you know, when they, your name gets mentioned, you are a champion for the military and for the vets, which is a, such an appropriate award for you and all the things you have done in the game of golf and for the veterans, which is wonderful. So congratulations on that. You're a fourth generation Army veteran with a passion for serving the men and women who have served the military. There's no question about that. Um, what was your focus early on after gaining your membership, um, or did it did your did giving to the veterans develop over time after you got your PGA membership? I would say, you know, for me, uh, more than anything else, um, you know, the values I think you learn from a military family were were the types of things also on a work ethic level that you were able to kind of take into the golf business and into the industry itself. And I remember I was first hired by an individual at Picacho Hills Country Club named Dave Donahue. And he says, you know, I don't know you, he says, but uh, I understand you have a great work ethic. And I always really took that very seriously because I thought to myself, you know, as you go through this business, and, and, and really any business in general, um, you know, what you do on an everyday basis and the example that you set is going to be sort of the foundation for your growth in the future. Um, being in the military, you know, myself following uh, my father and, and his father and, and his father uh, was important to me for a variety of reasons. Um, it was part of the family lineage. Um, and when I left the military and got into golf business and of course, you know, felt I could play and was a pretty good player at the time, I always held those values with me. So I, I wanted to try to find a way, best I possibly could through the game, to try to continue to support that. And through the PGA of America, through this section, through a variety of professionals that I've known throughout the years, you know, I've been given those opportunities. So I'm very fortunate from that standpoint to, uh, to have been, uh, to have had great examples come before me. Awesome, so you've been a PJ member for almost 25 years now. Right. Um, and you've implemented numerous programs in golf um, as a vehicle for serving the veterans. What is it about um, golf and its ability to help and heal um, people like military veterans? Well, first of all, I think the, you know, the most difficult thing, of course, for anybody that's been in the military and veterans, and of course, you know, I have to distinguish the difference between my service in the military. I, I was never in a combat situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I had served on multiple deployments on a humanitarian level. And of course, deploying on a training level is obviously what you do prior to ever having to face the difficulty of, of conflict. But these individuals that we have today, of course, you know, this is a different generation. We have a better understanding of what post-traumatic stress syndrome is. We have a better understanding of the mental, physical, and psychological um, you know, ailments that come from serving in a combat, in a combat zone. Mm -hmm. And so for me, you know, looking at the game of golf and the camaraderie and the fellowship that comes from being with fellow veterans mm -hmm. was really a big part of, of really what the game has to offer for many of them. And so I really, you know, I commend the PGA of America for, for looking at PGA Hope and taking, you know, a concerted effort across the country in the 41 sections to include, of course, this one, in really recognizing that uh, the veteran is a very important component of our society, as well as their families. So 
Um, the game of golf is, is that amazing vehicle that's being used right now. So just being a part of that is, is very special. Sure. So PGA Hope is one of the biggest, most successful programs in the PGA of America serving the veterans. Um, and it's proven to be very therapeutic. We've, we've seen great success, success stories. And we've had a lot of PGA members really embrace that. Mm -hmm. What has PGA Hope meant to you? Well, really, it just affirms, you know, just exactly what the game can bring to individuals such as that when they come back. And, you know, they're just, they're looking for something out into the community. You know, the veteran has a very difficult time at times because of the military structure coming back and assimilating back into the civilian world. Right. And so to have a sport, to have a game, to have a way in which we as professionals can interact with them at a local level in particular mm -hmm. with clubs around the country is without question the most amazing thing that could be offered right now in all of sports. And so just watching our professionals embrace those opportunities, watching our professionals interact with these veterans and communicate and understand how to teach them even under the most trying of circumstances is, is really what you know, we see as, as you know, being a, a, an extremely important part of the gratification through all this. And of course, our foundation, as you know, is a big part of that right. and our ability to support that and continue to get that support. Um, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it pleases you to see that. That's great. You know, as a sitting president of the, uh, the Southwest PJ Foundation, um, we, our, our section has seen probably one of the biggest growths in the PGA HOPE program. Right. What does it mean to you to have so many PGA professionals in our section and chapters both embrace that program and help, help grow that for our foundation? Well, I can tell you, Jamie, you know, there, there's, there's one thing. I mean, there's, there's, uh, <clears throat> there's two things in particular that, that come to mind when I think of that. And one is I, I had one of the great opportunities, in my opinion, for 27 years to work for the greatest country club in the United States of America, and that was Tucson Country Club. Right. They gave me the, a vehicle to serve in leadership. And so I've seen the impact that a PGA professional can make mm -hmm. in the community and at their facility. And to now see the transition over that 27, 30 years that you know, I've been a part of it here in Arizona, to see our professionals really grasp that and take hold of that, it's not surprising to me. All this really is is just drawing out of them what has organically been there all along. And that's their ability in which to serve and be there when the community needs them most. And now to have our veterans take part in this so that they can be there for them as well, yeah. it doesn't get much better than that. That's awesome. Um, this the last one's a little long, and you know, you, you're a highly decorated PGA professional. Um, you've been honored with numerous awards in the Southwest PGA throughout your entire career, including Golf Professional of the Year twice, which is you know, a rarity, that's, that's quite the honor. The common denominator in all of your awards is uh, giving back to the community and your fellow PGA members. What does it mean for you personally to be making such an impact as a PGA member, not only in our section, but you've had a, na you have, you've had a touch on the national uh, PGA on the game. What, is, what does that mean to you to make such a great impact that you have? I guess I've never really looked at it that way, to be honest with you, Jamie. I mean, today is really obviously a very special day for a variety of reasons. You know, I think, when I think of the game, I think of my father. Yeah. And, I, and I, think of the, uh, I think of the impact that he made on me. Um, I hated this game when I was a kid. I gotta tell you, I couldn't stand it. Uh, I wanted to run track, I wanted to play basketball, I wanted to wrestle, I didn't want to do everything but play golf. But my father said, you know what, this is a game that's gonna teach you a lot of values that you're gonna carry throughout your life. And so when I had the opportunity in which to embrace leadership, and be a part of it, and through the, the grace of this section and these professionals. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, you don't get elected to these positions by themselves. Right. You have to have the trust, you have to have the commitment of the membership that's out there. But whatever it is that I've been a part of has, has certainly not been my doing. It's been with the support of everybody that's been out there. And I can't, I can't be more proud of the, the commitment that they've all made to supporting me throughout these years. And the fact that we're here on Veterans Day it's, it's pretty cool, and uh, I just, you know, I want to, this is something that goes out to my family, my father, uh, Michelle, Sarah, Aubrey, who are out there watching right now, uh, supporters who are unwavering in their commitment to me, yeah. and uh, I can't thank them enough for, uh, for everything that they've done and will do for me. Well, of all the awards you've won, and as long as I've known you, to me, this is the most fitting. Obviously, Golf Professional Year is a wonderful honor. 
Um, but for anyone who has known you and served with you and seen you in action, this is probably one of the most fitting awards that could ever be given to you. So thank you for being such a role model and elevating these programs in our section and, and leading by example. Congratulations on your award. I appreciate it, Jamie.